Welcome to another edition of the Southern California Prep Insider Football San Diego Podcast. Tommy Morris, Christian Petter, Pedersen, Noah like Scenic here at Point As long Loma. as you got your name right hey. and Noah's name right, that's all that really matters. Hey, we're at Point Loma in August. Hey, guys, they have lights now. Home of the Pointers, baby! And night games now. Night games wow. all it, the time. It feels, it feels a little weird. They used to have to truck the lights in mm -hmm. here for like a special game. Now every game is special. Every game is special now here at Point Loma. We'll talk to a few of the pointers later. But before we do that, we have to get down to our usual business, our top 10 game balls. Then we'll do the interviews. Then we have our game predictions. Let's get to the top 10 this week, Tom. Let's get to the top Things 10. Things are changing in San Diego. And you are, you're, you're ready to go. You're fired up. I love it. <laughs> Others, we're going to start with the others receiving votes. Not in our top 10, but other, knocking on the door. Other, this is yeah, singular, one. this one. It is East Lake receiving votes. They're cracking, not right in the door. Dude, the top Titans, 10. Are, are, uh, they've had an up and down kind of resume the first four weeks. But look out, man. They might be the team to represent the South Bay this year. Big win against Grossmont, who puts up a lot of points. They held them in check. Look for East Lake to get in that top 10 pretty soon. Also, I should mention, we're at Point Loma under an airstream, so bear with us with the airplanes as one goes by. As you said earlier, it's not just your offense, it's actually... Yeah, it's not just that, that, that Kyle Grady vertical <laughs> attack. There's literally an airport right here. Okay, so here we go, our top 10. Starting with number 10, it's Carlsbad. Number 9, Ramona. 8, La Costa Canyon. 7, The Bishop School. 6, Torrey Pines. 5, Camino. 4, San Marcos. 3, Helix. 2, Madison. 1, Mission Hills. Guys, reactions. Ramona quietly climbing back up there. They were a powerhouse about three, four years ago, and, and it, it's. I think it's good to see the pe the power being decentralized a little bit. Move out to the outskirts. Get some. We, we, you know, Valley Center got some votes earlier this year. Now Ramona in that top ten. I like that. A team that you have to travel already to, mm -hmm. making it even harder that you're traveling to play a top ten team. There. That's kind of nasty. Uh, Mission Hills, and you know Mission Hills, Madison, and Helix. You know the big three. Uh, we want to see who comes out on top at the end, but right now, either team can take it. Let's go past the big three, and, and San Marcos, uh, done sleeping on these guys. That, that win at Oceanside, either, uh, either we are in some sort of topsy-turvy alternate <laughs> universe this year, we are. where, we where actually Cathedral are. keeps losing, and uh. it's all Mission Hills now, but things are changing a little bit. It's not the classical power anymore. There's some new schools stepping up. LCC back in the conversation after a big win last week over Poway. You know, San Marcos, they're closing in. Helix is not the runaway favorite that they have been. It's going to be a fun shootout these last five weeks. All right, so back to our alternate reality. We have some game balls from our alternate Let's reality. Let's do it. Uh, Christian, would you like to go first? Uh, let's start or with Noah, because Noah, Noah wants to talk about the one that I want to talk yes. about also. Okay, so Mount Carmel. They haven't had a win. They got their first win last week in a shutout fashion against Vista. So shout out to Mount Carmel, finally on the board. Look for to continue uh, the success there. San Marcos with a huge win over Oceanside. Now let's talk about Ethan Klein. Ethan Klein. A kick return touchdown and a receiving touchdown. Put the team on his back. Shout out to that man. Game ball goes to you. You gotta shout out their defense oh, also. And the defense. I mean, how are you gonna hold Oceanside to 13 in their own house? And in a, in a, in a Typical scenario where the San Marcos offense is usually, you know, carrying the load. The defense steps up. I love big. that. That's in a, a great flip. game, the defense steps up big. Shout out to you guys. Uh, let's go to the South Bay. DJ Tyree, Olympian High School, 107 yards, two touchdowns, and 11 tackles. Both sides of the ball. That's nasty. That's nasty. To do things on both sides of the ball, coming from a both sides of the ball type of player. Is that after that, 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 that hit your heart? That a hit bit? my heart. A bit. <laughs> when you're able to do that on both sides of the ball, shout out to you, DJ. And then Micah Piella Wiggs. Ooh, the big star. Going over to football and doing his thing in football, probably one of the best players, the best player in the South Bay as of right now. He now I'll tell you, I'll tell you how much of a sleeper Micah is. Is we even slept on him in our podcast where we told him he was in the frame, oh, but he was literally so out he of was, the frame. Wow. So that that's how slept on this kid is. And, is, he, and he was, he was is that the media literally just leaves him out of the frame. We should have lied to him and said because he wasn't wearing a shirt, so he wasn't allowed to be on the yeah, video. Yeah. <laughs> but tell us about the night he had. All right. Tell us about so, his night. Micah had a rushing touchdown when he's a slot receiver. Uh, he had two Nasty. interceptions against a Grossmont team who puts up 30 plus points, 400 yards a Nasty. game. Nasty. He's a being a difference maker on both sides of the ball is huge to me. And he's so, already a CIF champion in baseball. And Nasty. he's already one of the top baseball players in the county. Doing it in football, probably a candidate for Player of the Year in the South Bay this year. So shout out to you, Michael. That's a game. What's ball. up? All right, my game balls. I, I let's go. Let's go West Hills. Three and one now after beating uh, 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 Mount Miguel. Real quiet team right now. Coming up, you know, they're gonna get lost in the in the mix a little bit. They're not. not they're, they're a D2. They're not a top 10 team, but they're looking at a, a year where we could be talking about a seven or eight win team that makes makes a decent run in this playoffs. So definitely don't be sleeping on them. Uh, 
Eastlake, the whole team gets a game ball because that's a bounce back win. Mm -hmm. That's a win coming after a, after a loss the previous week. That's something that you you can you can make easy decisions to just give up and be like, man, that was a tough loss. Let's focus on that loss. Let's focus on the negative. Or you can flip the script on the county and be like, we're going to blow the doors off some big teams. We're going to make a huge statement. So shout out to them for that. Uh, defensive week for everybody in the county. Santana, shutout. San Pasquale, shutout. Ramona, shutout. Lincoln, a 66 nothing shutout. We talked a lot about their offense, but Coach Catlin, shout out to your defense. Goose That's egg. how you Goose get eggs, it done. Baby. Goose, Goose eggs, baby. Helix, shutout. Christian, shut out. We talked a lot about B-Rad putting up video game numbers all season. How about that defense, baby? Mount Carmel, also a shutout, baby. Defense. What a week defense, for the baby. boys when you're tossing up goose eggs left and right. Tommy, that would so do you, for my You're going to talk about defense. I'll talk about offense because I'm let's an go, offense baby. guy. Uh, let's go starting with Chris Brown, El Camino, 168 yards and four touchdowns this week, and they needed all of them. When you uh, need the ball, the give, it, give it to him. And that's, that's a right. game where we picked... We all picked we the all Tory pick Tory Pines. Chris Brown proved us wrong. Chris Brown, great football player, said, hey, I need to put show SDPI what's up. Uh, Camino, we're sorry. And uh, yeah. We are very sorry. Uh, Quinn O'Connor from San Diego, three touchdown passes. The Cavers looking pretty good this hey, year. They, yeah, they're, they're a comeback story of the year right now. They are a, a classical powerhouse, one of the oldest schools in all of San Diego. I think the oldest. Kind of been off the map since early, mid 2000s, and they're, they're charging back now. Demetri Washington, Santa Fe Christian, uh, two touchdowns, really long, 44 and 62 yard touchdown runs. That hurt. Sorry. Man's been running forever. Sorry. SFC He's Athletics, thank you for tagging me in that tweet at the end with the scoreboard. That hurt. Yo, wait, who did they beat? They beat the La Jolla Vikings. Okay, just, uh, just, wanted, just wanted to get that out of the way. Hey, La Jolla's yeah. been on a steady downhill since they <laughs> lost their 5'10", 160 pound fullback from 2009. What a Christian guy. Yeah. What a football Whatever player. happened to that, that guy? Was. Jeez. He, I guess we'll never know. He, he went on to, he, he, he sailed off into the sunset <laughs> and decided, I, I, I've peaked at my football career. I'm not going <laughs> to touch that subject anymore. So that's our, our top 10, our game balls. We're going to do the cool disappearing thing and then we're going to reappear. No, Tommy, players. we're going to fade to black this week. We're going to fade to black? Yeah. And now we've magically reappeared with some football players. Guys, introduce yourselves and what position you are. Davey Folsom, offensive line, defensive line. Kyle Grady, quarterback. I'm Malik Moore, wide receiver, safety. All right. So, guys, uh, before we get to, to game predictions and all that, just tell us a little bit, how's the season been going so far this year? Pretty big year for you guys. I mean, yeah, we've started off a little slow. We've picked things up for sure. We're getting it going and hope to continue winning games. Yeah, most definitely, like Dave was saying, we definitely uh, started off real slow, but after these couple games, we picked, definitely picked it up. So we're uh, getting ready for Olympia and all these other teams. So we're going uh, like to have a great season with the new lights and everything, so it should be straight. And how's that, having regular Friday night home games Ed, under the lights? Something new for sure. It's exciting. <laughs> I mean, except for having for one game, we this year we get to have for six. So uh, it's something new, something fun, just makes the buzz a little bit better. There we go. So you said Olympian coming up this week. That automatically disqualifies Noah here <laughs> from saying anything about it. Small side note, we don't have any more video of this. Apparently it's all been deleted from the entire internet, which I didn't know was possible. But this large human being right here, I am actually gonna scout knock your, this no. large human being out. Apparently, I'm gonna look I'm going to scroll hey, through every single video on your huddle. Too, you know, so. hey, okay, 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 I, okay. I will make sure that I find that video somewhere. Yeah. I'm going to find that video. So uh, guys though, to just like tell us what do you think? What's the game what's the mindset going into this week's game? Because this is gonna be two high powered offenses. Um for sure we gotta go in thinking that can't come out with anything but a W. That's all we're going to try to do is just come out with a win. Yeah, we, got, we got to be real disciplined this week. Uh, real disciplined, most definitely, because Olympia doesn't like to give up. As we can tell from last year and this year, they don't like to give up. So we have to come in disciplined and fired up. Yeah, it's always been a good matchup with them. They're an athletic team. They're a good team, well coached. Uh, we just got to come out and do what we can do, and uh, it'll be a good game. Kyle, quick question for you. You're, you're going to go to Michigan next year. Did Jim Harbaugh sleep over your house? Did he uh, climb a tree with you? And has he done the chain gang here at a Point Loma game yet? Uh, no, sir, not yet. Well, we'll see if we can get him out for one of those. But, uh, what, is, what is the weirdest thing that you've heard him do or you've seen him do? Um, oh, well, uh, at one of their camps, I didn't get to go to one of their camps, unfortunately, but uh, at one of their camps, he had all the quarterbacks, I believe, go play soccer instead of actually playing football. Uh, just to see what their footwork was like and just kind of have a little bit of fun with them. Uh, it, it's an unusual way of recruiting, but the unusual ways usually get it done. So, so you might get good at FIFA? Oh, yeah. I get that. Really good. yeah. So kids out there, if you're a quarterback and you're being recruited by Michigan, buy soccer ball start practicing now. Exactly. Something <laughs> like that. Get ready. Works for someone. 
All right, guys, you ready to talk about some game predictions oh, this yeah, week? Sure. Tommy has our standings. Oh, yeah. Um, right so now, Tommy in first place. No, no, Noah in no, first whoa, place. Whoa, Noah in first place. Hey, Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm at hey. the bottom looking up at everybody. Noah's in first place. So Tommy's in second. Then our, our guests. Our guest hosts, which you guys are now okay. filling that role, are taking third place. Yeah. And I am leading the uh, the charge Back from the, the rear. And I got all your sixes. I'm behind everyone looking, looking out for you from behind. What a guy. And just the point values there. Noah's got 18. Yeah, I've got we 16. We don't need to talk points. Our guests have 15. Christian, believe yours off. Uh, <laughs> all right. So hey, I'm kicking field goals, hey, man. That's, one, all, so that's far, all I'm doing. Number one. We're out here. All right. Here we go. The, the game's picked this week. Granite Hills at Valley Center. I will take Granite. Gentlemen. I'll say Granite. Take Granite. No, I got Valley Center at home. Ooh. Give me Valley Center, baby. Ricky Mazzetti is a quarterback on the rise, and, and that's a long way to travel. I think this one's going to come down to who has the ball last. Valley Center wins. Split decision there. Two on each side. Next game, it is Helix going to Saints. I will take the Highlanders. Gentlemen. Yeah, I'm going to Helix on this one. Helix. Yeah, it'll be a good game, but I'm going to go with Helix on this one. Too. I think Helix yeah. will pull it off, yeah. Yeah, I, I got Helix. Sorry, Saints. Helix is just. Right. You're gonna do it? You're gonna I'm do not it? gonna piss off the doghouse. We'll go. We'll go Helix. Okay, Saints. When you when you win, you guys go make fun of us on Twitter. Yeah, the pit. Uh, man, that's 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 more like I'm more picking between the student sections and the football teams there. Oh, but by, oh two of the best. Students I, I'll welcome sections. the pit's wrath. Yeah. Okay. Next game. This is actually, in my opinion, the hardest one to pick. It is Carlsbad going to La Costa Canyon. <sighs> I'll go with the Mavericks. I'll take the Mavericks in this one, guys. Who do you think? I'm gonna take Carlsbad. They've been working hard all year. They've, they've shown a lot of people that they're a team to beat, and I think they're gonna pull it out on this one. I agree. I think Carlsbad is gonna be able to pull it out. Yeah. Carlsbad. Carlsbad. Can I pick a tie? Uh, sure. Go. Yeah. No. Yeah, go. <laughs> so LCC, baby. Jake, I'll, I'm going with LCC. This is this is a tough one to pick. I've been on the Carlsbad train all year long, but Jake Newfield is the real deal. That guy is a vertical passer who's going to get it done big time against Carlsbad this weekend. Wait, I'm going to add a new rule. Since you think it's going to be a tie, if they go into overtime, you get a bonus point. That sounds so complicated. I don't know. Just give me LCC for the win. Uh, I'll take LCC at home. This is a game. You know, this is an easy type of game for me to choose this week. And uh, you know, we'll win. All right, and as the plane flies over, hopefully you can still hear me. It is Steel Canyon at Old Time Ranch. I will take Steel Canyon. What do our guests think? I'll say Old Time Ranch on that one. I got Steel Canyon in that one. Uh, I'll go with Old Time Ranch. So old, two old ties. That you, that you, yeah. guys, you guys vote counts as Old Time. Yeah, Sorry. Old time. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, David. No. Old Time Ranch. You know, uh, Alfredo Garcia, Sammy Paranata, Darren Williams. That offense has a bunch of weapons. I think they control the clock. Uh, Gus of Spirit to rest for a thousand yards last year is returning. They got so many weapons, the defense is going to hold their own and uh, they're going to pull it out. I'll take that pick on your behalf. We'll go Steel Canyon, baby. Thomas Fishburn is is poised for a big game. He's ready to break out. That, that's an athletic kid moving around in the pocket back there. They've had a couple tough breaks. I mean, you can't predict Siegfried and Granite walking you off at the last second. Like, that should have been a win. Otai's in the same boat. This is a team that both teams need this win more than anyone else in the county, but I think Steele's going to come out with it. And you interviewed some for some Canyon for the TV show, correct? Yes. Future SDSU. Future commit to one of the best football schools in the country now. Mikel Oliver. Yeah, you go there, Noah. You're going to be their long last snapper test. next year. Um, last test. Yeah, we had him on the show. Go check his interview out. He talked a lot about how SDSU is now the team. And we don't need the Chargers anymore. We got SDSU. So I'm not going to get too far into that. But that's another reason to, to watch both that Steel Canyon game and our television show. And I'm going to go I'm gonna go look for that clip of Noah getting knocked out. <laughs> no, I'm going to find that clip. Okay, hey, okay. I'm going to have to see that too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. So I made plays too, guys. Come on. I, those up too. I made plays too. Hey, everyone's knocked on their butt sometimes. Sit down. It's okay. To the best of us. And to the worst of us too. Uh, yeah. I got Tyler Gaffney breaking one of my ribs. I got that on camera. <laughs> Again, congrats to Andy. You're saying you're winning. for guys. Anything you want to say before we get out of here? Yeah, every man's a pointer, baby. Every man's, every man's a pointer. Questions. That's what it stands for. I actually did not know that. EMAP, every man a pointer, for those wondering. Uh, we'll see you all next week with more game predictions, top tens, and some more guests. See you next time. We out.